Hi Aquarius, this is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius for the Capricorn season. Um, I'm going to shift and, and do my videos a little sooner so that it goes from the beginning of each sign to the end of it. So Capricorn season is all about new beginnings. Um, it's in January. We write our resolutions and those types of things. Uh, we just had a new moon in Capricorn and according to Farmer's Almanacs, planting is the best during the new moon for reaping a good harvest. However, all of us have been um, under the influence of Mars retrograde in Gemini since October. Now Mars has been in Gemini since August, which is a very long time for Mars to be in any sign. Normally it takes a month and a half to two months to go through a sign. So it's not going to actually leave Gemini, I believe, until March of this coming year, 2023. So it's been, uh, it feels as though we've been unable to move forward. Um, it's like Mars has its foot on the brakes. Well, it's gonna ease up that brake pedal a little bit because it is going direct on January 12th. Now it doesn't get all the way going until February, the end of February. But prior to that, Mercury is going retrograde at the end of December, uh, the 30th, I believe, or the 29th. So even though it's going to be a little easier to move forward, um, it will also, um, uh, the universe is asking us to make sure we have all the information we need before we move forward. Mercury retrograde is about reviewing, um, uh, re-aligning, uh, um, restarting, you know, all the re's, you know, taking a look at everything. So keep that in mind. This is actually the most fabulous re reading I have ever pulled. So the first card that I pull for you, um, Aquarius, is called the world and um you can see all of the elements it has a um a beautiful whew, let me put my glasses on it has an eagle for strength and um endurance it has a buck for um swiftness and cunning it has a lion once again for strength and a young man um dressed in like earthly things. So it's all about all the blessings that are coming to you or where you are right now. You're in a really, really good jump off point for this coming month for you. The world is a fabulous um, card. It's, it, as an outcome card, it, there's almost none better. So the surprise or challenge card for you is the strength card. Now the strength card has a woman sitting with a lion. She has an infinity sign above her head. So she is using her internal power to calm this beast. And that's where you need to be this month, Aquarius. Don't allow your brain to go crazy. Just use your internal power, not your strength to move forward. The um, process card is the Eight of Wands. And you see these wands flying through the air with nothing that looks like it's propelling them. And what this really um, portends is that something is on the way to you. It's not in the 3D yet. I feel like it's success is coming your way in whatever it is you're choosing to do. You just may not see it in the physical world yet. And the most likely outcome card is the wheel, um, wheel of fortune, wheel of the year it's called in this deck. So it's like take your spin, take your chance, go for it. You are very, very supported in ways that you could not even imagine for a successful outcome in whatever it is you're moving towards this month. So that is actually a, a very successful reading that I pulled for you. So go out there and have fun with it. Thank you for watching. Happy um, holiday season and a blessed new year. Thank you.